Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for this look because it is one of the few kickoffs to my holiday, Christmas, New Year's looks and I'm really excited. I know a bunch of other people are doing that but I also wanted to give you guys a few options. We're going to have a few more of these videos too but I wanted to start off with something that is super glam and dark and just really sexy and sultry but it's something so simple to do. Like this might look super complicated but trust me when I say this, it's actually the easiest smoky eye because it has two colors in it. This is all drugstore. It's a completely drugstore look. So I know you guys always want to see more drugstores. So that's what I gave you guys today. A complete drugstore look. My phone is ringing off the hook. Now I'm going to stop rambling and let's get on to the video. What a difference, right? But I'm going to fix that right now with the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I talk about this in every favorites video. I use it in like every tutorial. I just am obsessed with this foundation, all right, guys? I love it. It's my favorite. So I'm just applying this all over my face, and then I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Thick Stick Concealer. I really like this because it's super, super easy to blend, and it's awesome at covering up dark circles and that little pimple that I have on my forehead. So I like to blend that in, and yes, I broke a Nail. I also have been liking to contour and highlight with this. So if you guys want a video on that, let me know. It makes it super easy. So after I put that underneath my eye, I just blend it out with the foundation brush that I used. And then I go in with a lighter concealer. And I put this on the high points of my face. Using the CoverGirl concealer is going to cover up my dark circles, while using this lighter concealer is going to highlight my face. I also, you know, highlight the high points such as my nose, chin, forehead, cupid's bow. You know the drill. And then I go in. And I obviously set my face with some powder so that it doesn't move. This is just translucent so it can match all skin tones and just looks super, super natural on the skin. I also like to go in with a more precise brush. This is a Sigma F35 and I put that right underneath my eyes. Moving on to the brows, I first comb them up and then I like to outline them and underline them so I have a nice defined shape for my brows. When it comes to the brows, this is a new product that I'm using. They're going to look crazy when it's just like outlined. So this is the CoverGirl Bombshell Powder Brow and Liner. And essentially, it's like an eyebrow powder, and it works really, really well, guys. It looks super natural on the skin, and it's really easy to apply. So if you guys have trouble with brows at all, definitely give this a go and let me know what you think. I love it. Now I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Notice Me Nudes Quad. I've used this so Many times I absolutely love this palette. Super, super easy to blend. Super pigmented as you guys will see. But first I'm going in with a taupe shade and putting this in the crease for a transition shade. Then I go in with the darkest shade which is number 4. It's like an ashy slate gray with a little bit of sparkle in it. It's beautiful. So as you can see I have no base on and it's just super pigmented guys. It really like, oh my god, it's just look at it. It's so pigmented and it's really, 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 really easy to blend. I'm like stuttering over my own words. I like to go in with a tapered crease brush. This is an E45 by Sigma and I really make sure to keep this shadow nice and round and I just do that also by using a bigger blending brush. I also kept the inner corners away from any dark shadow so I can put this lighter shadow in them. And this really brightens up the eye and is key to making an easy smoky eye. When you put dark on the inner corner, it can sometimes make it a lot harder to blend and pull off, but having that light on the inner corner really looks amazing on all eye, eye tones and eye shapes. I like to then go in with the lower lash eyeshadow, and I'm first taking that darker shade and I'm just rimming my lower lash line with that. And then I don't like the gap, so here I'm going in with the CoverGirl Perfect point plus eyeliner and this is just amazing because it has a self sharpening tip so it's really really easy to keep it nice and sharp. It's also a super super black eyeliner so I really like this and you can see that it really just closes the gap between my eyes and my lower lid shadow. I then go in with that taupey shade so I switch over to a different brush to make it more smoky and as you can see just switching that brush immediately makes it look super super smoky and then I go back in with that darker shadow that we used on the lid to smoke out the lower lash line even more. 
here I'm singing and also going in with the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This is a classic. I've had it in my collection for years. I love it. I'm putting it on the lower lashes and then I thought that my upper lashes were good since I have lash extensions, but I wanted to coat the tops as well just to make them extra black. Moving back down to the face, well, it's not like the easiest smoky eye ever. I told you guys. This is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. It is such a natural looking bronzer on everyone and it really looks amazing and just adds warmth into the skin and into the complexion, which is what I'm going for. So after I have a little bit of color back in me, I'm going to take a eyeshadow actually to highlight and this is Champagne Fizz by Maybelline. It's a really beautiful shade to highlight with. You can also use the inner corner highlight that we use. I'm just trying to show you guys a few other products if you want to use more products as well. So I'm just putting this all over the high points of my face. And then to tie the cheeks together, I'm just going very soft with the blush. This is by NYX. So as you can see, the face is just a very soft combo because we really want the focus to be on the eyes. But we do want the lips to balance out. So this is the CoverGirl Outlast Longwear Lipstick. And these lipsticks are great you guys they really stay on for so long and it makes the lips not flaky at all so I apply that and then I like to go in with a towel and then I go in with the covergirl lip gloss as well to put this over top to make my lips look bigger to look glossier and then in the middle of my lips I use my favorite lip gloss right now which is the covergirl queen collection lip gloss smack your lips together and you are good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys plan on wearing a look similar to this or if you're going to go out to the drugstore and recreate this kind of look because it's super easy to do as you guys just saw and it's actually really affordable as well. So you're going to be glam. You're going to be like balling on a budget. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.